Welcome back to the channel YouTube. My name is Mao. Today we're going to be talking about sneakers. More specifically, we're going to be talking about the Air Jordan 3, Craft Ivory, what I like, what I don't like, and then finish off the video with an on feet look with some styling ideas. So make sure you stick around for the whole video and make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe, helps me out, but let's get on with it. Originally released February 3rd, 2024, this shoe immediately caught my attention during those leaked photos late last year. It reminded me a lot about the Ama Manier Jordan 3s that dropped back in 2021. Has that same kind of silhouette neutral look with the aged features on it that really set the tone. The Craft Ivory has many similarities to that Ama Manier pair such as the all white base, gray suede, transparent heel tab but has its own twist to it. Nike continues to essentially rip off past collaborations with designers with its own mass produced pair such as these craft ivories that takes some of the similarities and what worked and what looked good and then puts it into their own version of the pair. Right off the rip, this shoe box signals that it's not your average Air Jordan 3 release. It syncs up perfectly with the shoe's aesthetics sporting a neutral white and gray tone that complements the Craft Ivory's palette. Nothing too crazy, so let's go ahead and get into the shoe. As we lift the lid, the first thing that grabs your attention is the eye stays unique cover, followed by the double layered toe box showcasing suede and the iconic elephant print. I'm not sure how I feel about that eye stay cover, but I do like that layered toe box. You can also notice a double Jumpman logo on the tongue, not one of my favorite features on it but i understand that they're trying to follow with the theme of the shoe of that double logo type thing to it so you can see those features across the entire shoe you can see the double toe box on it you can see the double jump man and if we go into the back you can see that double heel tab logo on it as well where they showcase a nike air and the jump man logo what i truly think sets this shoe apart is the off-white tones it's subtle yet needed touch that injects personality into the design, ensuring that these stand out. Turning to the heel, the Nike Air stamp commands attention, underscored by the translucent Jumpman logo. I think one of the best features of the shoe is the fact that they went ahead and somehow implemented the Nike Air logo on it. I don't think I've ever seen a shoe with both logos on it, so that I feel like that was a good idea and a good kind of touch to kind of separate this shoe from, from past releases. No way. Had everything already filmed, ready to go. Just problems after problems with me, I swear. Camera was not recording. Don't have anything and I didn't realize until days later when I was trying to edit this that, wait, where's the rest of the footage? Ah, but we're gonna pivot, we're gonna make it two separate videos so this video is going to be the the review of the shoe we're going to take a look at the shoe we're going to we're going to utilize all the footage i took next video we're going to do a little styling video what to wear with the craft ivory shoe how to style it and sorry sorry but we're going to split it up in two videos this is me just being a dumbass and learning about this as we go so like comment subscribe hopefully i can keep you guys' attention until the next video next one will be a banger i also got a mess right now in my room uh, we're going to do some changes around here so i kind of want to move my desk to that corner and i bought it essentially like a new desk and some other little things to kind of upgrade the setup so um, I'm gonna try to make a video for you guys with that whole process and how I'm gonna go about rearranging this room I'm not even gonna lie to you this looks horrendous right now but we're gonna try to get it right nonetheless I appreciate everyone that stuck around with me till the end promise I'm gonna make it up to you guys we got more content on the way 
but that's all there is to it.